हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो हाउ आर यू सो टुडे आई एम सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम लेक्सिकोग्राफिकल नंबर्स सो वी रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो गिवन एन इंटीजर एन सो रिटर्न ऑल द नंबर्स इन द रेंज वन टू एन सॉर्टेड इन लेक्सिकोग्राफिकल ऑर्डर सो बेसिकली सम नंबर इज गिवन टू अस एंड वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ लिस्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन टिल एन इन द लेक्सिकोग्राफिकल ऑर्डर सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द एक्चुअल मीन ऑफ इट so uh, for example if let's say n is given to us equal to 11 right so what would be the sorted list the sorted list would be simple right 1 2 3 4 5 11 right 2 3 4 like this like this like this and 11 right this is the simple sorted numbers right so this is numbers only but they are saying the lexicographical order so lexicographical in the sense if i convert all these numbers into the corresponding string so in that case once we convert them into the string what would be the sorted order so if we convert these values into the corresponding string format then this would be the output first it is 1 then 110 then it is 11 then it is making 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so this is our lexicographical sorting so this is what we have to do so whatever is num whatever number is given to us we have to return this kind of sorted list this list is called the lexicographical sorted list okay so we will uh, do the we can do the recursive as well as the iterative approach okay so let's discuss about uh, recursive a bit but we will write our entire solution in iterative approach because that is expected most of the time in interviews so the the recursive approach would be something like we will start printing one right we we printed one first then we will go to all the association of one right so we have the 1 0 we have one we have two till nine right we we do like that till nine we will do so if let's say uh, it was let's say 25 in that case what would happen first we would be printing uh, one then 1 0 then 1 1 1 2 till 1 9 right then similarly we would be after we we are done with the 1 we will be going for the same approach with this as well to right and all right J just printing first this guy and then corresponding all its associate what i mean to say is like first we will print 1 then we would be printing 1 10 then would be printing 1 1 right like that so up to uh, 19 we would be we'll do like that and from this 19 we would change this uh, our character value right now it would be come as 2 right now for this 2 also we would be uh, calling the same function like this so uh, this will make the like 21 now then 22 then it will go till 29 and so on okay and once we are done with all those Uh, there would be a time when our final things were like uh, our things like let's say if, if it was 33 n equal to 33 in that case what it would be happening after 29 it would come like 3 then 30 right and similarly we might have something like uh, let's say 3 okay 3 then 30 then th uh, so finally we would have all those numbers till 33 we would be writing like this and after that what would happen we will write the remaining which will start from 4 then 5 then 6 7 8 up to 9 right 7 8 and 9 so if it was like uh, uh, 33 in that case what it would be happening first we started one and its associate then we started two and its associate then we started three and its associate then we started 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so this would be our approach or uh, this is what we have to do so this is the recursive approach and we have the iterative approach as well so let me discuss more details for the iterative approach so as let's say n equal to 25 then we will generate the uh, sorted list for this number 25 okay so what we will do is we will use one for loop this for loop would be run for the 25 times right so we will start let's say n equal to 1 till 25 inclusive nature right so uh, n is less than or equal to 25 uh, in this day we can basically run this loop okay 
So uh, let's say n plus plus we are making. So anyway, this loop would be run execute 25 times. Now what we will do is we have to fill the list. So let's say I have one list. This is my list suppose. Okay. So what I will do is uh, let's say I'm taking it bigger one. Yeah, that should be fine. So see here for n equal to one, we will make one more thing, one current variable. So initially what we are starting this current equal to one, right? So we are starting with this current equal to one. So we are coming here and we are directly adding this curve equal to here. So you can consider our curve was initially it was equal to uh, one. Okay. So let me uh, remove it from here. So see here at this location, what I'm doing, I'm adding the curve value to my list. So right now it is one. So I have added one here. Okay. Now what I will do is uh, I have to add now the associate values, right? So it is one, then I have to add all those associate like 110, 11, 12, all those, right? So to generate all of them, what I have to do is I have to do cur equal to cur into 10, right? So I will do cur equal to 10 into cur, okay? Because we have to anyway generate all those association, okay? So now what I will do, we have we have multiplied this this curve by 10. But see, after after doing the multiplication with the 10, we have to check whether this is uh, uh, smaller than the equal number or not. Okay, this should be not greater than 25, right? Otherwise, this would be out of the boundaries, right? So we have to check that if this curve is basically uh, less than or equal to 25 or not. Okay then only we will proceed ahead with this value. So in this case, our curve would be what? Our curve would be 10 basically. So 10, 10 is basically uh, lesser than 25. So no problem, right? So no problem, then we will continue. We will come back again here. So now uh, second time we would add curve. So this time curve would become 10, right? We will come again. See here, we will do curve into 10. So it would become 110. Uh, it would become 100 right but 100 is basically uh, greater than 25 so we will go to else because we just cannot go to the greater value so we have we have to go to else part of it okay so in this else part what we will check we will check whether uh, the, the number is uh, uh, less than or uh, this n or not okay so let's say if curve value is less than or equal to whatever num we have okay or we have to have like we have to handle the cases like when it would be 19 value then we have to change this to 2 right so in that case for 19 or 29 or 39 we can figure it out if we do the percentage by 10 right then it will give us the or uh, 9 right so i am doing here cur, cur percent 10 equal to uh, if it is becoming what if it is becoming 9 so we are catching two condition either if the current is less than the num or current percent 10 equal to 9 in that case what we will do we have to basically uh, convert this 19 to uh, uh, 2 right so how would we do first we will do curve y2 uh, curve y10 so this will give me 1 right and then i would be incremented by 1 so what i will do is we will make cur equal to divide by 10 right so cur equal to divide by 10 and then we will do this curve plus plus we will just increasing it by one okay so now what will happen we have so far 10 right then we are coming to this else part now we have checked that this this was 100 right so uh, when curve equal to 100 because we multiplied with the 10 so it will go to this else part right so when we are in this else part what we will do we will check so yeah this curve is basically uh, uh, not not smaller than this number then what we will do is uh, we will do this thing cur equal to cur divided by 10 so this will now become what this will become again or uh, 10 right after 100 divided by 10 it will become 10 so at this location i am increasing it so it would become now 11 now we will again go to top of it so we will add 11 here okay yeah, so when this curve is basically going greater than number okay greater than or equal to number 
so now see here now we have 11 again we will come here we will make 11 into 10 it would become 110 right so 110 is basically greater than this number so again we would be inside here we will divide it and what we will get we will get 11 and we will increase it by 1 so it will become 12 11 plus 1 so this new value would become 12 okay so similarly we would be add this 12 here now in this way we will keep on doing keep on doing there would be a time when we would having 19 right so in that case what will happen this condition would be true right so again we will do that same thing 19 divide uh, so it would be when we would have 19 right it would become 190 because we multiplied here so here we will get a new fresh value as 2 because here divide by 10 would give us 1 and then we would do 1 plus 2 so it would go to value 2 here so we will keep on changing here 2 like this so in this way then we will have the associate of 2 right 2 0 2 1 like that okay 2 2 0 2 1 till 29 okay but because this is 25 only so we just cannot go beyond this so there would be a time when we would have add 25 here okay so when we are done till 25 here we would increasing here right so it would become 26 then we will again go to top of it okay so so 26 in this case what will happen so see here when we would be adding 25 our our plus would make it 26 this curve is greater than or equal to a number so see here even 26 is greater than the 25 so we will again come here and we will again divide this 26 by 10 right so what it would become in this case now it would become 2 right and then we will increase this 2 by 1 okay so 2 plus 1 this equal to 3 now we will again go here and this, this this time we would be keep on adding 3 here right now similarly we will come back here we will multiply 3 into 10 which will become 30 this 30 is basically greater than 25 because 30 is greater than 25 then we will go to this else part now see here this is greater than num so what we will do cur equal to cur divided by 10 so 30 divided by 10 it would be 3 and will be increased 3 by 1 so it will become 4 so see here we will come here and add the 4 here similar way we will keep on adding till 9 right but see here at the end when it would be 9 again we are coming here and we will make this 9 plus uh, yeah 9 into 10 this would become 90 so again we would divide by 10 it will make 9 and 9 plus 1 it will make 10 now i will again we will go to here but by that time bro our this thing would be done right our for loop would have been stopped because already 25 numbers are there so our final answer would be like this 1 10 11 12 till 19 then 2 20 21 23 24 25 then 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this would be our lexicographical sorted list so this is our iterative approach it is taking a uh, time complexity as o of n and uh, the space complexity is also a uh, constant only okay so uh, this uh, let me show you my code for the same execution so see here uh, what i'm doing is first of all i created that uh, array list okay and i initiated current equal to one now see this is my for loop i'm starting from zero to n here i'm adding the whatever current value into the list then see here what i'm doing i'm checking that if current into 10 is less than or equal to n if it is less than or equal to 10 we will make current to current equal to current to 10 and we'll go back again to for loop but in in the case when this value is basically greater than n then we will come to this else part and in this else part what we are doing we will go to this while loop so here what we are, we are doing here I am checking either cur percent 10 equal to 9 means when we are uh, when we have a case like 19 or 29 in these situations you know we have to change the uh, uh, sequence for the new association right let's say if it is 9 the next word should be 2 right or in this case it again it should be like uh, 3 right so for that reason what I am doing either if it is having like a uh, 
a value which has uh, like 19 or 29 or this current is greater than n like in the case of uh, in, in this example what I did our last value was 26 right 260 because we did the multiplication of it so we were when we were coming here uh, so it was like uh, 25 at that time right so same way what same way we are saying this while this current is greater than n then what we will do we will keep on uh, multi, uh, divide by 10 so that this let, let's say this is 19 so 19 divided by 10 it will give me 1 now this 1 plus right now we can add it so 1 plus 1 this will give me value 2 and then we will again go to the top of the for loop keep on adding these values and finally everything would be there in our array list so this is what I am doing finally I am returning whatever value I am uh, getting here so let me execute my code yeah it is working fine let me try to submit it and submitting it yeah so it is accepted so thank you for watching this video if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there